Welcome to No Bars Off. Thank you for being here. We want to take this time to dedicate this show to a beautiful, beautiful soul that we were privileged enough to be around and, and experience time with her. It's just a, a joyful person and individual, Kimberly Dorham Carr, the wife of our brother Torrey Carr. We had no idea what to expect when Tori reached out and said he wanted to come on the show and talk about you know music or talk about life. And, and we didn't know if he was going to talk about loss, but when I asked him if we could dedicate the show, to his lovely wife, he was with it. So we sat, we talked, we had a, a wonderful conversation about our journeys, about how long we all go back, and we talked about moving on and what life has been like. So if you have time, please sit with us. The, the show is a little longer than usual, but like I said, it's, it's just a, a, a lovely and endearing conversation. So we wanted to celebrate the life of Kimberly and say that you know we were blessed to have this conversation and Rest, rest in power to her and much love to the family, the Carr family and everybody that's dealing with the loss of Kimberly. Thank you for tapping in with us. Take no bars off. No bars off. Huh. Yeah. MCs take no bars off. <clears throat> <laughs> See, that's the setup. That's the setup. Nah, this is one of my favorite verses too. I, I wanted to, but I know you know it. That, that was my hurt in my heart talking along with the truth. I would thirst often as a youth because of you, the person. Mom's nursing self-esteem issues around the house. It's hard to find a clean tissue to minus her tears. To rewind this time, I promise I'd minus my years to, to the day to take the pain away. Seems sunny outside, always rained on me. Pops, you my umbrella. Come help your son with the weather. Soon we come together like man and man and Bill. Play spades, cards faced up. I've come to deal. In order to get right, we got to deal with this wrong. And the pain I felt all my life, you feel in this song. Is it ringing a bell? Is it more or is that we stopping right there? I can keep going if you need more. <laughs> oh, man. Your lack of warmth left a chill in the morn. Your lack of love left me loveless. And I'm of your breath. I'm your mind, body, and soul, your heart, your flesh, your alcohol, your smoking results. I'm a mess, Dad. Um, That's beans, right? You're almost there. Almost. <laughs> is it, it's not beans? It's hov? No, wait. Yeah. It's yeah. Yeah. I, I, I was like, it was whole up until that second part. I don't know why that last part made me think beans, but it's whole. It's yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I, I thought the did. I thought the your cigarette, your smoke, I'm a man. I thought that yeah, would have gave yeah, it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah. Thought that I, don't why, I don't know why that I don't know why I heard that in Beans voice, but yeah, I, I know it's, it was whole. It's his song. Yeah, it's his song. That's yeah, why yeah, I yeah, said. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you good. It wasn't that bad. Yeah, you, you wasn't that far nah, off nah, at least. Nah, 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 nah. Damn, I wish I just would have said hold out the gate. It was hold right up into that yeah. very last stanza. Yeah. Oh, it was like, why? I don't know why. See? You yeah, see? Yeah, yeah. You should have went with your first mile. Yeah, when, that's when, a you, fact. when you stopped them, was like, this is, this is, you went, he was like, I can this give a you life some lesson. That's a life lesson. Yes, absolutely. Go, so with, you your know, first, go with your first mile. Go with your first thought, your first instinct, what your gut tells you, all of that. Absolutely. Woo! All right. Man, we are here. No bars off. Boy, if it's your first time, shame thank on you. you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> like, <laughs> subscribe, share, whatever the people be saying to do. Yeah, you know, the but, lingo. Yeah, what we. Did you say? What, share, what, what, what like, did subscribe. Say? Yeah. You know what I mean? Comment. All that. I don't like ordering people, you know. I'll be like, thank you for doing it. But either way, yeah, just do it. Please, shit. yeah, just do it. It's free. <laughs> <Go ahead. laughs> that part take, is free. Take action. Yeah, take, watch. Thank thank you. Thank you for watching. <laughs> <laughs> That's number one. Um, if you're unfamiliar, we are a show that breaks down lyrics. I don't even want to talk about breaking down lyrics. You know why? Because everybody and their mother is breaking down lyrics now. Everybody, everybody so, breaks down lyrics now. So so we are just love lovers of words, right? Listen. We go line by line, Hold talk about wait. stuff. Go ahead. Go ahead. I don't want to do sounding like me. On no podcast. Nah. You know what I mean? Nah, it's wild. I mean, it's like, you know, dudes, you know, they I did the knowledge to that shit. You know, I'm like, you know, damn, niggas want to, you know, everybody yeah. want to pop a little champagne. It's like, you know. But go ahead, brother. Nah, you I, don't, I don't play a role. You want to yeah, play, play that role? Play. play You know what I mean? Yeah, play the role play that role to play. Yeah, Look, how many times he said the N-word? <laughs> Son, yeah. I can't even, I lost count. I lost yeah. count. He was like, nah, because niggas, 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 yeah, niggas. Son, it, it, got, niggas. Like, it was almost like he started skipping after a while. <laughs> I, I don't, I don't want to sound bitter either. <laughs> oh, so, oh, man. thank you for being here. Um, they used to call me Shot Stimuli, Boardwalk Brown, one of our, our brothers in the building. Coney Island's own. Listen. One half of the Barrel Brothers. Hey. Man. One, one half of the Hard to Earn Show podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Our brother. Listen. One whole. 
one whole one whole one whole, whole, whole Torrey <laughs> building one, two. The the actor, the rapper, the ghostwriter, the everything. Yeah, the host, Listen, the podcaster, man. the content creator. So many things, what, man. What doesn't he do? I don't know. Is there he's on, he's on the gra- he's on the Grammy board. Oh my God! You on the Emmy board too? You got I'm the not, Oscars? I'm not, no, I'm not. Tony, man, he, Tony. Want, he, want, he want to get the he got on the board. Yeah. Side I want, it. nah, I want, I do. It's crazy because I don't have any of the trophies, but it's like okay. a goal of mine to yeah. be he got. So I don't know when that shit gonna That's start, nice. but yeah. I'm, I'm not gonna. I'm not going to stop until I expire. You hey, know what I'm saying? Yeah, like that's yeah, that's yeah. something I'm aspiring to. That's a no nice doubt, goal. No doubt. That's a nice line. To like all, that all that don't know, I was introduced to this man by this man. <laughs> many, At many. This place. Yes. <laughs> in Coney Island on Bro Day. Bro Day. Shout out to Bro Day, man. Yeah. Shout out to Bro. How about that? Legendary. Rest yeah. in peace, my guy, Bro, man. For sure, for sure. Jesus many, Christ. Many, many years ago, y'all many, let me many be a guest ago. in yeah. multiple Bro Days. You yeah. know, come to Coney Island. And, um, that was a whole production back then. Yeah, yeah. I think that was ni- I think that was ninety nine. You don't start naming years. I'm you sorry. can't do that. You can't. You I can't, want people to know how long. You know what I'm saying? Well, yeah, I get that, but you could just say, you know, that's twenty five like years, though, son. Like the kids call that now the late nineteen hundreds. Yeah, <laughs> that's fine. Yeah. It's fine. It's like the sixties to us, right? <laughs> they're not incorrect, and that's a, that's why I'm so upset about it. Like they're not incorrect. That's not incorrect. accurate it's, as fuck. Yeah, it's nah, if we was if wow. we was old and whack and lame, okay, yeah. But well, yeah, okay. twenty five years—that's a long time. That to, is a, that is so, a long you know, time because we people throw out brother, and you know what I'm saying. Right. But right. that's a that's a you know that I mean? is a long nah, time. Nah, that's, a real, real. that's a that's a grip. Okay. And y'all y'all have known each other longer than that. Y'all in the same yeah, was, neighborhood. We, we, we've yeah thrown good. footballs together. Yeah, crossed the big street together. Which you know, for, yeah, <laughs> crossed you know, the big street. Yeah, the big street. Co- Co- yeah, all that Geronimo yeah, tag yeah. one two all day. All that. Yeah, yeah. All, right. all that right in front of the building, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, which is crazy because I've known Bonsu, your partner on Hard to Earn, since we was young, right. young, How wild young children. It's crazy. That is Shout crazy. crazy. Shout to Bonsu. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout to Dell State, man. But yeah, that was the breeding ground of foolery. Yeah, you, you should have came. Man. Yeah, you should. I, I don't know why you never visited. He was in the man. streets. So I, get, I get it. I he get was it. on the grind though. Like you know, I, like I mean, yeah, he was that's rapping, true. rapping, shout rapping listen, early. Speaking of all, speaking of the grind, shout to Fam Entertainment. How about oh, that? Man. Oh, shout, shout to Fam Entertainment. Six, shout man. to the big homie shout Six. To six man, I love yeah, Six. Yeah, shout shout man. to I love Six man. Six is continuing to evolve and do his thing, and just seeing him enjoy his life. He actually just retired. Wow. Like, and he's. Yo, he's the most amazing dude in the world. Like, if you nah, just watch him and how much fun he has with his life and trolling people that's still working, <laughs> 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 it's crazy. You know, like just seeing the evolution of six. You know, Man, from it's how been we, wild. How we met him, right? To who he is at To who he is now is. You know what I mean? Grand, Man, running around with his grands, and we supposed to go grab dinner, and uh, we okay. were trying to figure out a date. Right. And he was like, yo, you free this day? I'm like, nah, I'm out of town. I'm like, yo, you free this day? He's like, nah, Mace got a game. You Son. know what I'm saying? So like, yeah, I love man. it, man. But shout out to Six. Shout, shout out to Coney Allen, man. for sure, for sure. Absolutely, bro. Yeah, we, we had to have you on, bro, you know, just to come through and, and talk and build. Of course, we want to talk about, you know, your project and what you got going on in real life. And this is one of them shows where... I, I want to say we don't really have an agenda, so to speak. Yeah, we just we just hit <laughs> you know what I'm up. saying? We just kind of giving y'all a sneak peek into our world and what we normally do outside of when the cameras are off. But yeah, so um, what's I know you dropped the bubble chip joint, right? Yes. Um, what made you drop that outside of the Midnight Run album? So because I took such a long hiatus from re- releasing my own music. Once Marco and I decided we was going to do Midnight Run and we dropped that in September of 23, I was like, 24, I just want to feed my audience. You know what mm. I'm saying? Like, I kind of took a step back so I could take steps forward. Yeah. So the step back I took was me creating my own and crafting my own records. But the step forward was me being able to do a lot of records for other people and yeah. build that part of my career and my catalog up. And just, you know, I mean, make the money that I make in that shit and just do a bunch of other shit behind the scenes. And so once I got all of those ducks in a row, I was like, now I can return to releasing my own music with a lot less stress attached to it. Mm -hmm. And so my plan was to drop a record every month with a video, you know, and just have them ready. So I had the shits ready. um, And then life, you know, life, life's. Yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah. Life definitely life's. Um, and the the what I loved about the <clears throat> the visual was the yeah. juxtaposition of where it started versus 
me telling you where I'm at now, even though I'm right here on the same ground, like where it, I came from nothing. Like y'all, y'all look around, y'all see, like y'all, y'all don't have the, 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 the back view perspective that we have, but to see it and like in front of the wall for bro on that basketball court where we spent countless hours, but to be, take that same space and talk about where you've elevated to, like, He's, how did you? He how did, stunted. Yeah. He ain't yeah, just talking yeah, about I, it. I, 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 yeah, I, you know, <laughs> it, was, it, was, it was. It was a little bit of a stunt. But <laughs> you, you ain't George Bush the button, but you, yeah, you, <laughs> yeah, it was a little bit of a stunt. Uh, but um, damn near. yeah, was was that a was that a conscious thought to to create that visual with the content of the song? Absolutely, but hmm. even even more so than that part of it is to show that no matter where you go, you can always come back home. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Nice. Like. Throughout the lyrics, and I'm talking about my journey, and I'm talking about some of the accolades, and you know, like, is it a stunt? Somewhat a stunt, but it's right. actually like real life shit, right? I'm just kind of talking people through what I've been doing, um, where they might know me from, why I've been away, why, I, how I've elevated, mm-hmm. and shit like that. But also, it was just like, I love the fact that, and I don't take it for granted. I love the fact that I can go back home. That's I can it. go back to the block. It's Nothing love. like it. You know what I'm saying? Nothing like I it. I can stay in the building. It's love and. I don't hang my hat on that, like, yo, I, I could still go to the hood type shit. Right. But right. It, it does feel good to be able to go where you started your, your journey mm-hmm. and still have that same love from the people because although a lot of shit about your life has changed, mm-hmm. I haven't changed. I'm still Torre from building two. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Still two third tour. So Absolutely. to be able to shoot the video there and to have love there and to have Fire Kid from Coney Island shoot it. Absolutely. And to true. have the guys in the video from the block, you know what I'm saying, killer and, and yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like that was dope. And then also, yeah, because it t- it does tell the story. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Like even true. traveled around the world, come back to the building lobby and, and split it with my crew. So that That's um dope. for me I wanted to have a visual that accompany with the lyrics was saying, but also just, you know that that Holistic, three hundred and sixty degree. Started here, still here. Bring it back saying? here in, in a bunch of different ways. Dope. Yeah. All right, we're gonna lose monetization on this, but we're gonna play it. I wanna. <laughs> 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 Why not? <laughs> I told Dad, as soon as the ball drop, we back gunning for spots. And even if it's soul sampled, I'ma make this shit pop. Give him kicking the door to him, still make the shit knock. Cause anyway, I set up a session, I set up a shop. I turn the block to the booth, turn my shooters to a group. We cook up the product crop, ain't no problem to recoup. I travel the world, selling them my stories from the stoop. Then back to the building lobby to divide it with my crew. Ain't nobody else doing the shit that I done. Blog ever, baby, and I've been on a hell of a run. Pin some I'm crazy for an artist that go number one. Then bring him to serious on a promotional run. Tell my publisher get a sync. Put that record in the flick. My agency get the auditions. I memorize the script. Got a million different corners. I hustle to get a flip. And when the pie really pop off, that's just another brick. Hold up. <laughs> I mean... Oh. So you said that's not stunning? You know, you said, I was just I just wanted to like I wanted to clarify. Like, it, I feel like it's, it's, it's humble bragging, you know, because we know him. You know what I'm saying? Right. So we know it's not like some just egotistical. I'm better than you, right? Um, on a on human level. But okay. It, to me, it it seems like if you haven't been aware of what I do, you know, in the booth and outside of the booth, it's kind of like an update and. You know, it's like a resume. I, was, like, I, literally, yeah. I literally was just about to say, it's like a, it's a verbal resume. Yeah, it's a verbal just resume. Just in case y'all don't know. IMDB yeah. popping crazy. <laughs> yeah, Serious nah, XM for every day. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. and I, I love to set off with, you know, even if it's soul sample, I don't make the shit pop. I don't make the shit pop. You know, crazy. I feel like because we came from an era, you know, the blog uh, era where soul samples was kind of, you know, the thing, mm-hmm. it can be looked at as archaic by this generation. And it's like for you to say soul pop, you know, even if it's soul sample, like I can make the shit pop. I think that was a, a, you know, a dope, a slick way to kind of mm. throw that in there. Slick um, little double. Yeah. Yeah. Slick little one. Slick little. Got you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then to follow it up with kicking the door to it, make the shit knock. Um, you right. know, something else people might might miss mm-hmm. with kicking in the door, but, you know, you normally you would knock on the door. Right, right. <laughs> That's is, what most people do. It's just kicking the door to <laughs> and still make the shit knock. So I like both of those back to back. You know, mm-hmm. the soul pop, door to knock. You know what I'm saying? 
Um, you want to borrow mine? Oh, you got you got the rounds. You set up a session, set up a shop, but turn the block to the booth. Mm-hmm. Turn my shoot. Listen, turn my shooters to a group is wild thinking. <laughs> like, like to think you want to put them in a quartet right. of shooters is wild. Yeah. <laughs> like that's crazy, but. Yeah, turn the block to the booth, turn my shooters to a group. You cook the product proper, ain't no problem to recoup. Mm. And there's so many layers to that. Like mm-hmm. street level, yeah, business level, and like yeah. right. if you if you're doing your business right and you mm-hmm. you you know what I mean? Right. You if you cooking it up right, ain't no problem to get you. You 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 can get yours and and more. Right. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah. You what, what, what you want what you want to say? I, <laughs> I was gonna say, because we we noticed that. Tour is um, similar to Sean Price, which I, which I love. You I'll guys, take it. I don't even know what else you're going to say. Yeah. <laughs> I'm fine with that. I'll take no, it. Listen. Don't, don't, don't say it. nothing else. Absolutely. Rest, you're right. You're rest right. in power to our brother. Rest in power, Sean Goodness P. Lord. Um, you, guys, you guys love to sneak in alliteration. Oh, yeah. And, you know, it's, it's, it's effortlessly. It never feels forced. Never. But I just love the way it, it happens, right? Mm-hmm. So even with the product proper, no problem. And then you travel the world selling selling them my stories from the stoop. Even the the simple ones or the ones that are, you know, it might be just two words. Mm-hmm. It always it always stands out. And it's and like I said, it sounds like it sounds effortless. It sounds like it's just a part of what you do. Is that right? Is that something that just comes to you? Like as you're as you're pinning, it's like, let me just slick, let me just throw this in here as one of a literary <laughs> term or is it just Yeah, it's natural. just it's it's something that I enjoy. Like as a you know, we all fans of this shit. So yeah. as a fan of it, it's certain things in, in hip hop or in writing in general, but if you're talking about hip hop writing or songwriting, it's certain things that are more appealing to my ear. Yeah. And mm. alliteration before I knew what it was caught me early. Right, I was right, like, oh, right. Red Man. I got it from Red Man. Gotcha. Red Man. Red Man, ready to rock, rock, rough rhymes. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, pack pistol posse. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, all yeah. of that. Mm. I would hear that shit and it always stood out to me. Mm. And so now gotcha. in my writing, is yeah, it's definitely second nature, but sometimes I'll go back and I'll try to figure out ways I can add more. Mm. So like, if nice. I say something, I say something, I get to a place, I'm like, wow, if I switch this and this word, yeah. it give me a whole, you know, it give me a whole stanza of mm. the gotcha. mm-hmm. one letter. So it's very intentional. It's fun. Mm-hmm. It's something that like the people who really listen to lyrics know me yeah. for. Yeah. And so I was now about it's, say, it's almost like a trademark. Like, yeah. Almost mm-hmm. now it's like a trademark for me. So, cause I never had a cool, like, you know what a I'm saying? Thing? Like I never had a, th- I never That's had right. a yow wow. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I never had a right, saying. Right, I never right, had a yeah, friend. Yeah, yeah. Young. I yeah. Know, yeah, 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 yeah. Never had none of those. So yeah. you know, yeah, I got mine, one too you gotta late. Get, yeah. You gotta listen to the verse to get mine, and it's just gotcha. that alliteration yeah. of, of having shit in there. Um, but I wanted to talk about because I had mentioned it, the the duality of the imagery that I painted from a street perspective, Mm -hmm. but also, like you said, an executive perspective, right? Got you. And then you add the next layer of in the music space, all of those things, like there's all parallels, right? Like you Mm -hmm. said, you cook up the product proper, no problem to recoup, alliteration there, but also a microcosm of, if you put in the work, you're going to get you gonna get it back. You get in what you put that's in. Anything. You get out what you yeah. put into that's, it. That's yeah. in sports. That's in medicine. That's in yeah. you know. If you read them books and you know all your shit, you're yeah. gonna be true. the best lawyer out there. You're gonna get your bread back. So, this for, is true. but but also on a very surface level, if you got the best product on the street, the fiends gonna come. So you're yeah. gonna get that you, bread back. Turn my shoes to no a problem. group. Is street level shit because I took what I learned from being in the environment that we grew up in and I mm-hmm. applied it to the music. Gotcha. So, yeah, my, my block is the booth. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Like, because right. that's where I get my, that's where I recite, that's where I get my, my shit off, right? I learn, mm-hmm. I, I get content there, but that's also where I give it back out, right? I turn my shooters to a group. So, like, the niggas that was with me, y'all in the group now. Y'all part of this music shit. Right. But also, mm-hmm. if we was still... Just on some street, on the street, shit, right? And y'all, my shooters, it's the same job, you know what I'm saying? But, but in a different field. Gotcha. Exactly, gotcha. Stuff is doubles all through here, man. You got to put the medicine in the candy sometimes, man. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, and like you said, back to the building lobby, another slick alliteration mm-hmm. to divide it with my crew, which speaks to what you were just talking about, right? And then you know he kind of gets into the a little bit of the stunting. <laughs> Man, I, don't nobody, like, I don't like. I don't like. I don't like this terminology. Well, All right. you what, know. what you? What you? What we said it. We said his resume. Um, resume yeah, speech. It's, it's resume speech. You know. Sometimes yeah. you gotta do that. Like if you were to put this on paper. 
But this is what's happening. <laughs> you know what I mean? If you would have put us, you a grown man now. <laughs> yeah. But this is still what rappers do, man. Yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. It's just that you're doing it in the way that we would do it. Like we right. like, right. like a like adults do it. <laughs> yeah. But like adults do it. Like a grown up. Yeah, yeah. 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 I'm talking yeah. about like a grown up. Like you right. talk about how great your 401k is. You talk about how you know yeah. what I mean? My portfolio. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. That's that's yeah. grown man stuff. You, you could diss a corny MC here and there, right? <laughs> a whack rapper here and there. But like we said in the past, it's how you do it. Yeah, it's the and way I think you people, do it. People get caught up in and me just saying, you know, dissing whack MCs is corny yeah. or you know, talking this guy, about hip hop is yeah. Yo, the get, way this guy gets shots, bro. <laughs> yo, the strange that he yeah, catches. Yeah. Bro. <laughs> yo, the strange be fuck hip hop, man. Nah, yo, <laughs> yo, the strange be wild. Nah, like, nah, man, listen, man, man. Listen, man. I just gotta be real with people. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Blog ever baby. I've been on a hell of a run. That's a you hell of a run. Know. Yeah. Blog ever baby. And even that, like, you gotta be of a certain age to know what the blog ever was. Like, right. yeah. And that's again, like, still sticking claim to how long you've done this. Like, it's yeah. not that's not a stunt. That's just I've been around for a while doing this. Like, yeah. Yeah. you know what I mean? So they don't even yeah, know it's a hell of a run. They don't even know what a blog is. Pin like. something crazy for an, I know, right? <laughs> Do they know what a blog is? What do, oh, they do they call, yeah, they they call it a, a vlog now? They think I think it's think Instagram, of v silent. They think it's shade room. <laughs> Yeah, that, they, they think that's the, a blog Those are the now. blogs now. Oh, yeah. my gosh. Yeah. Whatever. Pin something crazy for an artist and it go number one. Then bring them up to Syracuse. Now, you see this? this, this now, this is the kind of shit. Now, this is mm-hmm. where, the, where the, the slight tap of the stunt button goes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah, know, yeah. You, you, you pin something for you some, pin something crazy for an artist make it go number one. Mm-hmm. Then you bring them up to Sirius for a promotional run. So you... For your record. Yeah, yeah let's talk about this uh, number one song you got. <laughs> why, that, uh, why wouldn't we discuss who, that? Let, let's talk about the writers of this song. Yeah. You know, you know who. Uh, <laughs> this is interesting. So let's talk about the creative process of this <laughs> smash record that you created. Yeah, let's talk about how how you went about this. So, Boss Seven, like, um, <laughs> Boss Seven. what was so, on your mind? What was on your mind? What was it? Just pick up on Boss Seven. That's just how it goes. Boss Seven is crazy. <laughs> that's got to be a setup. Like, that's got to be a setup. Yeah, if he set up off eight, right. if he's stuttering, like, oh. yeah, yeah. So, uh, <laughs> so, yo, complete. Parallel but complete off off subject. Yep. I watched the Millie Vanilli documentary on Netflix the other night. I gotta check it out. That is the wildest shit I ever Absolutely seen. For one, two, I guess we were too young to, to realize it, but we should have known they wasn't singing when they was doing all that damn jumping and flipping around <laughs> on stage without losing vocal. No, it was yeah. Not a breath. Not a not a single note was missed. <laughs> well, so not, we should have known. You could have assumed it was a track while they were performing. Right. That's one thing. Yeah. But it yeah, it yeah. That, y'all gotta watch that if you can. If you got some free time, it's, it's very it funny. It yeah, it's not funny. And I think one of them are dead now. Yeah, one passed. Yeah, one of them passed away. So right. yeah, but not that funny. But in I terms learned of, what lip syncing was from, from that, that scandal. You know what yeah. Really? You didn't watch putting on, put it on the hits? That, you ain't never watched that? Putting on was it putting? Yeah, putting on the hits. All right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah go ahead. Back up. back to the play, Jim. <laughs> 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 so yeah, it's so. emotional run for the artist. Y'all get the visual. That's pretty crazy. Yeah, that's, um, that's wow. That's almost wanna... like insider trading, but that's <laughs> it's just, yeah. It's just, that's that's yes. Yeah, that's whatever. Crazy. Yeah, we, yeah. Let's get... So so it's never self serving, <laughs> right? Oh, it's oh, not oh, the, 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 the interview oh, portion of it. <laughs> I don't like these guys. Oh, really? I don't like them. <laughs> I don't like these two here on my left. Yeah. <laughs> the bringing them the serious. Yo. If if if. And you would never know, right? But any artist that I've worked with that I've also had on my show is mm-hmm. never like, oh, let me get mine off moment. You know what I'm saying? Of course, like, yeah, we know. I stay, we know yeah, I stay very much we're in. We're tuned in. We know. Right. Yeah. All my professional spaces, I stay tuned in. And, yeah. But every once in a while, and I guess I kind of, <laughs> I just got to like. Here he comes. I don't be understanding like how I. Like, what are we really talking about, bro? Like, come on. I'm come on, really, come on, come on, I'm really a different kind of guy. <laughs> there we go. Oh, come on, baby. Come on, with come on, with it. Come on with it. You have me another drink. Yeah, hey, man. Hey, look, 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 Listen. Look, 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 we're just a, we're just appreciative of your time, brother. Oh, yeah, I love y'all, man. Y'all Listen, my, we love you too, brother. This is amazing. But yeah, this. He's talking about my eyes is watering. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay, man. bring him up the series for a promotional run. Tell mm-hmm. my publisher get a sync, put that record in the flick. 
My agency get the auditions. I memorize the script, son. What if it's the same record that he penned for the artist that came up that, to promote the record, and now it's in the in the movie? Yo, that's Wait, a lot you of promotion. That? You know, yeah, that? You, the what? The, put get the, the sync deal. Flick the sync deal. Nah, right. No, the, so we do the record. Do the record. Bring the artist to the station. Yeah, that same record gets in the flick. Yeah. The, the sync part the, is. Oh shit! Now I got a cameo in that. And, oh, right, my yeah, agency get the auditions. Yeah, right, and, yeah, because. Sorry. Again, right? And now, I'm, I mean, I, I don't even, I don't even know how to say this shit humbly, because <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna sound like some bullshit. And don't use this we as a know. promo. Let's go. Don't use this. Listen, as, listen. Don't make me have to be this guy. Keep the time <laughs> still. <laughs> go. Nah, bro. There's not. There's not. And this is just across the board. It's not a lot of um, multi hyphenate talented people mm. that. At least in all of the spaces that I exist in, yeah. do what I'm able to do at a high level. I'm not mm. saying that I'm the best at any of this shit, but, but at a very high level because I care about all of the craft yeah. that I'm in and I put in the work, right? I'm in mm. the gym. I'm putting in my work. I'm putting in my reps. So really, like, who 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 has song written for numerous huge artists Records that go number one, records that get synced, that also has the opportunity to have those artists come up to mm. not one but two hit radio shows, Listen. like mm. Hip Hop Nation, what? ten years, Rock the Bells, Rock the two Bell. years, excelling, host yeah. the cruise, back hosting two years in a row. Let's, Rock let's the not media. forget about that raw. Rock, <laughs> Rock the Bells, mm. social media content, talk the L. Like first yeah. of all. One of my idols coming yeah, up, yeah, right? Patterns so, so much of all my of shit. Us. Who was it? So much of my shit. Listen, after man. L, right? So to have that relationship, but then also, right? That same song, even after all of that, there's an opportunity that I end up in the film or the right. TV show. That this this one record that's made these rounds, Listen. and I've been a part of all of these inceptions and pieces of it. Right. That shit is different, Listen, bro. Listen, man. I don't know it, what you what kind it. of vertical integration this guy I got going on. <laughs> this is some real print to press to st- yeah. This is, but yeah. you deserve it though, because like I said, I've I've seen the work from like the very very beginning. Yeah, yeah. Like, day one, like like, like day I've, one. yeah, like yeah. like day I've day literally one. seen it like from the beginning, yeah. like hanging fam entertainment stickers up in the building and yeah. doing fucking street teaming and. Like I rem- like I rem- vividly remember this. So, yeah. like oh. I I can literally say like the the time like his ten thousand hours been put in. Yeah. So I, mean, I was there like day seven, day eight. <laughs> <laughs> nah, because I remember you know, you know just the shows when me and him was on the show circuit. I mean you remember we was right. performing yeah. right. like every other night. We had somebody's on somebody's stage with you know maybe eighteen people in the crowd sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> but but you um. You know, you're doing what somebody you got to do. Wow. Me that. Somebody send me that. Give me the day. mic. Look so, at that. That the flyer. Vinyl. Look, at, look at that. Look at the flyer. flyer that I, Internal uh, Affairs that I Entertainment. Made on, I, don't even know what the, I don't even know what the program was. That's crazy. So then. give me the mic. Right. So, what? With that brush script front. Look, like, you, need to, nasty. You, need to, you need to get this on canvas, bro. This is nasty right that, here, bro. I mean, but you know, for the times that was, I mean, for the times and for the grind, like yeah. where we were at, like where you were at that point, like that like, was, this listen. The original, look at the original look at the IA original logo. IA label. The original I, IA logo. I, I remember that. Before, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know I mean? yeah. Before we modernized it. <laughs> so, this is, this is 10,000 hours. This is yeah. like. Exactly. This is why, even though, you know, does it come off as a little braggadocious? Yes. And is it? Absolutely, because that's part of hip hop. But mm. also, like, this is really from the work that I put in Listen, over the years. So absolutely. Like, yeah, yeah, if not me, the who? Listen, why <laughs> yeah. not? Yeah. Me. I, the bad guy. That's who. That's who. Nah, that's what I, Who did this? Me. <laughs> I, I took acting classes, you know, for a couple of months. Um, Sorry. Well, you, are you good at memorizing scripts and stuff? Um... I mean, by the time I need to be on camera, yeah. yes. Mm-hmm. But you know, I kind of use some of my hip hop. Yeah, that's what I do. I use some I of my hip hop training <laughs> yeah. of years, right? Because yeah, yeah, yeah. this shit is a way of life in real life. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like we don't, I don't, you don't dip your toe in the pool. We yeah. some fully yeah, submerged in this shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so everything I do, no matter what I'm doing, is hip hop because yeah. I'm hip hop because we grew up at a, in the 1900s, right? Yeah, the late 1900s. We, we, right? we up a certain <laughs> age. And and we had the pleasure of growing up, for myself I speak, 
I don't know a time before hip hop. You know, what we saying? grew up with it. There's, yeah, like we grew up with it. it. Like literally. And so everything I do is hip hop, just by virtue of who I am and where what, when exactly. I when I entered the planet. Yeah. True. Um. So I said that to say, the first when I first started learning how to memorize scripts, I would read through the script mm. and I would go in the booth and record it, and I would listen to it back mm-hmm. like a song. Because mm, nice. the first part I wanted to get was the words and yeah. the sentiment of what's happening in this moment. Yeah. Mm. It's not so much about memorizing words when you're acting. It's cool. reacting. Yeah. It's mm-hmm. reacting. It's you say some, I say some. Oh, where you moved? Oh, you leaning forward? Oh, why did you lean forward? Are you threatening yeah. me? Mm-hmm. Or are you leaning forward because you want to get deeper and personal? So I'm reacting off of what you're doing. It's like tennis. Yeah. The learning of the words is so that, and even if you go off the script, if the mm-hmm. word, if it says, "Hey, good morning," I say, "Yo, what up? Having you know, have a nice day." Right. It's about delivering the intention yeah. of what's happening in that moment True. from that character, and so. You know, but yeah, I I'll go in the booth, recite the whole shit, yeah. listen back, listen back, yeah, listen right, back, yeah, yeah. read it, read it, read it, and then then I perform it. You yep. know what I'm saying? But that come from me hip hop learn. That's how I learn songs. You know nice. what I'm saying? Shit like right. that. Yeah, yeah, really yeah. Cameo in the tails joint. He's got this. Let him get you. Say yeah, snuck up on you. <laughs> got me. Damn. It. Don't never get it confused. I paid all of my dues. I never paid for no followers, likes, comments, or views. Can't give you no proof of purchase. Ain't got nothing to prove. In the winner's circle, acting like ain't nothing to lose. Put the product on the website for the sake of the fiends. These rappers selling you their storylines, faking their streams. So when they post the Spotify numbers, it ain't what it seems. It's like the labels used to buy records. It's by any means. I drop quality themes, elevate my hogany queens, turn my purpose into a profit. I'm proud to be king. I made something out of nothing it don't count as a thing if you got it in the bubble do it count as a ring i keep the masses in the safe keep these rappers in their place keep a hitter in the field in case i need them catch a case and if i ever blow through the budget i get it off the way so mr smith said he got me here go get it out the chase what's up was that was the george bush moment yeah yeah <laughs> Yo, i wish i was fronting not george bush the button <laughs> Put the oil in your hood, your hood. Just man. lift up your whole hood like you got man. oil. Oil you under Boy, what the good, no, what the Not bro. nubby. Like, cast man. the oil you want. Cast, cast the Troy you. Change Woo. your face to the bullet. Change all oh, that for you. He was really going Woo. crazy. He was. Yeah, he was that, yeah. Really he was, he was, he was he, in his own, that, yeah, that yeah. album. He had something to say. He had something to say. <laughs> he had something to say. Yeah, he had something to say. Yeah. So like but you, you got something to say too, son. Yeah, like you were saying. Like yeah. you were saying. Like listen, man. And the dudes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Listen, man. Never pay for no followers, likes, comments, or views. I didn't know that that was a thing. Uh, well, I know. I, I figured like buying like, I know the they buy blue now. checks. Yeah, I think right, the, the check, check costs now. Right, right, right. Yeah, they, they offered so, it to me. I was like, nah. You didn't want, you <laughs> nah, didn't want to buy it? It wasn't in the budget? It. I can't do it. Not I didn't know. <laughs> is, it a month, is, it a month, is it a monthly fee? I think so. I think so. Yo, that's I mean, crazy. It was with no balls I was like, eh. That's crazy. Because it'll help, I guess. But nah, but anyway, it's not about us. <laughs> it's not about us. <laughs> now that he said this, you can't do it. <laughs> no, you can. You can, you can do anything do it. you want. You can't do it. Nah. Everybody get it how they look. Hey. But I'm, I'm telling you my story, brother. Nah, you listen. Know what I'm this, this is my story. I was, bro- I was bro- how you live, my man. I think I heard this the same day I got that email. I was like, <laughs> oh. So I can't, do, I can't this. do this now. <laughs> this is God sending me. me this. He's talking to me. Get yeah. how you live. <laughs> Job <laughs> turkey. <laughs> Trying to pay Job for some views. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Oh, Yo. Can't give you no proof of purchase. Ain't got nothing to prove. I love the mm. proof and prove, you know, same word, past tense, front tense. Did I just say front tense? <laughs> <laughs> Present tense. <laughs> listen, when you start drinking and, and, Yo, and intoxicating listen, yourself. Once, once I get to sweating, you know. Oh, that's it. That's shit. what you know. Listen, once I get to sweating. Yeah, you know, front the, tense, back tense. <laughs> shit, we get back it. Back tense is crazy. Back tense, front tense is crazy. Yeah, the fact that I, I had to think about it after I heard it, I'm like, did I just say back tense? What the fuck? Is my back tense? <laughs> is your back tense? Is there a car <laughs> back in the house? <laughs> Yo, that's why I can't hang with y'all, man. Y'all don't know how to act. <laughs> In the winner's circle, acting like ain't nothing to lose. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This is about that. Yeah, I mean, just having nothing to prove, you know, another, can't having show you nothing, proof of purchase. Just to be in a, a circle of winners is one thing. Mm-hmm. But acting like you ain't got nothing to lose when you have everything to lose is the crazy thing. Right. But it, when you see it through the eyes of, 
that's kind of the optimist, pessimist. Yeah, I'm, I'm in a winning circle. I yeah. have everything to lose, but I act like I don't. And he's also acting. This is this is, this is that's a great that's a great <laughs> link. That's yeah. a great link right there, buddy. Yeah. That's a great link right there. Yeah. <laughs> Put the product on the website for the sake of the fiends. These rappers selling you their storylines, faking their streams. So we still stand with the, you know, followers, likes, comments, views, mm-hmm. no proof of purchase, nothing to prove, nothing to lose. Sake of the fiends, faking their streams. So when they post the Spotify numbers, it ain't what it seems. Just like the the labels did used to buy records. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And that it's funny how the, how the, the, the game evolves. Like it's the same thing, but now it's just, yeah. we're going to, yeah. Yo, this is. Yeah. Speaking of that, this is crazy. But one part, right? Because that that part, that line, in the first be- beginning, I was saying how everything come around, right? Mm-hmm. Everything right. comes right back around, and even me standing in in in, in the, on the court on two third, being it like traveling so much, so much, so much, and always coming back to mm-hmm. the to the first thing. But also, that's me coming back. Into the rap shit, right? I can do all this other shit, but yeah. this is mm. where it started at, right? Mm-hmm. And it's like, so it's a lot of circular in those lyrics because, like you said, it's like the labels used to buy records. It's buying in me. So whatever right. it takes to win, right? Exactly. But now the buying records is the fake in the stream. Yeah, it's right. The, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's, the it's same like thing. The putting the numbers in front of your face. Like every year... It's a Spotify warped and people is po- and I'm like, mm-hmm. how much of this shit is actually like <laughs> yeah, yeah. for right. real, for real? Like you people know what I'm actually or, listening. Or, or what did it? What did it? And it's not. It's nothing against that particular DSP or that brand mm-hmm. of people that do it, but is that it? You know right. what I'm saying? Is it just a look? Is it just a surface? Is it just a visual thing? Or did something actually come from it? You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like were you able to turn this opportunity into something that elevates you or your mm-hmm. career, your craft, or the culture? Or right. your finances, or mm-hmm. do it just look good? Because right. a lot of people do this shit for the look, and then it's like, this well, what the true. fuck is the point of that? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, well, I think if you come from an era where looks are the only thing that that's all that, that they know, yeah. <clears throat> like that's like I was my 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 question. I was thinking about the blog era and coming from there, right? And knowing that the the, the game is different now. You have labels that will sign an artist and not let it be known. Right. Like mm-hmm. treat the artist like he's independent, yeah, yeah, almost like yeah. it's a secret. Right. Put money into it, buy the streams, fake it. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Like and watch it build up. Just yeah, grassroots. Yeah, it's yeah, mm-hmm. grassroots. How do you feel knowing that that would have been us? Like you know what I'm saying? Like In this era. we were that talented yeah. that mm-hmm. someone would have said, "Oh no, come along. Right. Mm-hmm. Let's right. give you this minimal budget because it's not going to take five hundred thousand to do an album, right. True. And do videos and things right. like that. Like when you, how does how does that feel knowing that? It's a new day. Yo, it's it's crazy. And, you know, like, there's a lot of different pros and cons to whatever you came up in. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Absolutely. I mean, we I say blog era baby in this song, but in reality, I'm I'm really from the mixtape era. Yeah. You know, yeah, of course, the tall yeah, the tail <laughs> into that. Yeah, absolutely. My infancy is in the blog era because that's where I started to get my footing and my notoriety. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, before I knew what Not Right was, my man hit me and was like, yo, your video's on Not Right. And I was like, oh, that's crazy. What does that mean? You know what I'm <laughs> right, saying? Right, like, right. I didn't know what it meant. Yeah, I was right. such I was, it was like such a novice to the yeah. shit. Um, but so getting my footing in that space. But yeah, man, it's it's crazy. And Sha, I know I've said this to you numerous times, but your story and your plight and the obstacles and the triumphs that you had in the music mm-hmm. business, I had a fucking ringside seat to it all for the yeah. most part. And I learned a lot from the decisions that you made in the turn and how things turn in, in your favor or how things turn to maybe deter you from some of the, the things that you wanted to do. Yeah. And I and I applied those scenarios to my own mm. life and my own um journey. And I was able to make decisions based off because of, like if you can't learn from what's happening around you, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like made a better circle. It's, yeah, it, because Nobody go through shit just for the sake of going through it. What, Absolutely. What you just dealt with, <clears throat> right. you're going to help somebody, bro. Absolutely. You're going to help somebody. You're going to free somebody. You're going to liberate somebody. You can give somebody opportunity to whatever it is. They might be looking at this shit right now. True. That's why we go through shit. And so without you knowing it, like I'm just looking, looking and watching and learning. It's like, damn, I want to do that. Damn, that's fucked up. Oh damn, that's crazy. Oh wow, that's but that turned into you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so like yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I was really able to re-evaluate my career mm. based off of having a friend 
deal with the bullshit that go came along <laughs> with, with the major shit. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? And I don't yeah. want it to be like a dark cloud, like you, because right. we wouldn't it's be real. sitting here right. without yeah, all of this right. shit that yeah, we all yeah, went yeah. through. But in those moments, I was watching, I was learning, yeah. mm-hmm. and I was like, hmm, okay, well maybe I'll try something different than yeah, that. You right. know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And mm-hmm. so, you know, um, but to answer your question, obviously, yeah, like if we were the youngins, the new generation, you know, yeah. we we'd be. And it's crazy, man, like really to see how much more of a reach this generation has. The reach is crazy. The reach is crazy. The reach is amazing. It's amazing. (laughs) You know what I'm saying? But it's like, if you really, if you really tap in to the resources that are available to you, and it all starts with the phone. I know a million and one people have said this. Yo, you got a computer in your pocket. You got the whole rest of the world mm-hmm. at the other end of your mm-hmm. cell phone bill. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, shut the fuck up. <laughs> but in reality, if you are able to put together a plan and you do have a team and you do have an idea, mm-hmm. you do have a goal. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Not mm-hmm. a destination because this shit is a continuous journey. True. But if you do have a goal of I want to do this by this day, I'm going to use this re- these resources and da 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 fucking possibilities are endless now bro mm, listen, like yeah. this is this is the most liberated we've ever been it yeah. come with a lot of shit it yeah, come with a lot that yeah. you know that's attached to it because it's pros and cons again we're talking about this balance mm-hmm. but man as a young brand new fresh artist yeah. Oof, yeah. lord have mercy <laughs> with something to say What's like up? lord listen, have mercy with some talent yeah yeah listen. jesus christ May the odds be ever in oh your favor oh my god right, man. Listen. It's, 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 yeah, it's, Gee, it's and just to provide context to y'all it's christmas right? <laughs> <laughs> tell me about it but y'all i'm gonna try to keep this brief but I want to say it was 07, 08. I was going through, um, I wasn't officially dropped by my label yet. So I'm still in between the whole major thing. I'm caught up, had no way to reach the people like he's talking about where you could just press a button and reach the world. Like I'm still trying to figure it out. I'm caught in between Virgin and Def Jam. And I came I came out here in Atlanta Yo. and this man was at A3C on the independent journey pretty much, had merch, had shirts had everything set up and I'm looking around like a child lost (laughs) and no I kid you not and he's like guiding me introducing me to people I had never met um what's what's her name from um Arizona the um Arizona Ron nah (laughs) nah. but him too (laughs) damn um not shit what shake no not shake um um shake from from two dope boys from two dope, from two boys. Yeah, yeah. I think we, I think we met from Vegas. Yeah, from Vegas. Yeah, my from bad. Vegas. My bad. So we, you know, you were introducing me to people, um, Guilty Simpson and all these in, under like independent guys that were getting it, and I'm just like confused because I come from this major world mm-hmm. where it's record companies doing everything for you, and it was just it was it was amazing to me. You know what I'm saying? Because like you said, I was on a different path, and you learned from that. And was like, nah, I'm gonna do something else. Right. <laughs> and now I was there trying to like learn from you and, and figure things out. And I think that was they pushed a shout of me out, and that was pretty cool because I was like, oh, that was crazy. Yeah, that was yeah. Crazy. But it was it was to speak to your point. Like you're introducing me to people, and Pusha T knows who I am. Right. And stops his show and shouts me out, and people are looking like. Who the hell is who the this hell guy? Is this guy? <laughs> hip hop literally was two different worlds at, at that, that time. time it, was. it was two it was. worlds. It was like two worlds. The, the the mainstream and the independent or the underground, or however you categorize, like they had split. Yeah, like yeah. the industry yeah, had absolutely. split into these two parts. And for so many of us who didn't know that this world even existed, we stayed trying to figure out how to make it on this path. Yeah. And then, I mean, like, the best thing in the world was me walking into Fat Beats one day mm. and just seeing, like, who the fuck are all these people on the wall? Right, 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 right. What is this label? Oh, I know who that is. You know, like, watching, they money. watching the Ruckus shit happen. Yeah. You know mm, what I'm saying? True. Like, watching Ruckus and knowing that there was an independent space and, and seeing what was happening with Duck Down and they went to priority, they got yeah. the big bag, mm-hmm. it went quiet, and then, you know, they come with this this triple threat, you mm-hmm. know, with, with Buckshot and, and Ninth and Smith and & Wesson, Oof. and then Sean, the, the reemergence of Sean, Sean Price, Price yeah. right? And I'm looking at all of these things happen, this timeline might be a little off, but I'm just watching all these things happen in the wor- in the music ecosystem and I'm like, oh, it's a different it's a different way to do it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's yeah. a different way to do it. It's not to say that the path is easier. No, or it's just different. It don't come with its own set of bullshit. Yeah. But it's different. Mm-hmm. But I always love I'm a bet on me type of guy. Yeah. All day, every day. Yeah. I always love betting on myself. And I'm not afraid to do the work. 
and I have the adaptability to learn how to do some shit. Like mm-hmm. all the shit that I'm able to do is not because I went to school and had aspirations to do it and this shit. It was, right. you know, by necessity. It's like I gotta mm-hmm. learn how to do all of this shit. So I said all that to say, um, yeah, man, just just being able to have options and and learn how to do music a different way. Cause I was mm-hmm. like, I don't want to compromise the sound and shit that I came up on. But that shit ain't what's up no more. You know what I'm saying? So how do we still have... I've I've dedicated too much. I've turned down too many schools. You know what I'm saying? I've walked away from too many jobs. (laughs) You know what I'm saying? At this point, I'm all in. I'm all the way in. True. You know what I'm saying? So this is... Till till the wheels roll all the way off, I got to figure it out. And it just took a whole lot of figuring. Yeah. Just to get up to that hill. Yeah. But now we up in the big leagues. Yeah, you know yeah. yeah. Right. And I would turn that back. As long as we in it, <laughs> long as we, it's sure yeah. and me, son. Yeah, it ain't nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. Wrong with that. that. Like, nothing wrong with <laughs> that. We moving on up. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. From where I started, man. <laughs> yeah, man. Man, what you got? I drop quality themes, elevate mahogany queens. Mm. Turn my purpose into a prophet. I'm proud to be king. Proud to be king. Talk about that. Oof. That's really... Like in a nutshell, pause. <laughs> um, that's what it's all about. That's mm. what it's all about because it's like utilizing your resources, your platform, your voice, whatever it is, whatever you have that people pay attention to, to be able to utilize that mm. to elevate the next whatever it is. I said Mahogany Queens on that because using my platform to highlight women, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like a lot of yeah. women on my team throughout yeah. the course of. My career, you know what I'm saying? Like my mm-hmm. publicist right now, I have female managers, female booking agents. Yes, you, have. you know what I'm saying? Like just the whole, the whole, like all of the different <laughs> right. spaces. But also, like I mean, it's crazy because when I talked about this, the last time I talked about this was in um, February, yeah, or January actually. Mm-hmm. And I was saying, you know, all of my high knee queens in my life, my mom, my daughter, my sisters, my wife. You know what I'm saying? Now it's crazy. Right. Like my wife is. It's gone since the last time I discussed Crazy. it. But it's like using the resources that I have and the opportunities that are presented to me to elevate. You know what I'm saying? And I'm proud to be king. Like, mm-hmm. that's the shit that I take pride in. <clears throat> yeah. It used to be stuff. It used to be stuff. I just saw an interview where Will Smith was saying, you know, I made a bunch of money and gathered and got a bunch of shit. And now it's like the purge. And now it's the giveaway. Definitely not at Will Smith level. But <laughs> in the smallest of scales, like, all of this stuff is just stuff. And then you realize, like, that shit don't matter. What matters is True. how you make people feel. Did you make a situation better than you found it? Did you do what you need to do to take care of your family? How are you building and elevating this shit mm-hmm. and leaving something that's going to outlast and outlive you? And so, like, once I figured those things out and and how to utilize all of the stuff that comes mm-hmm. with what I do... To not just have shit to to George Bush the button, but to yeah. really like put people on and to really give it away and to really like elevate, you know what I'm saying? Right. So like mahogany queens for sure, but just culture, my brothers, my sisters, the people that are around me that's out there working and mm-hmm. busting their ass and doing things for themselves. How we work with each other and build each other, like this culture misfits brand, right? Mm-hmm. Dope brand out of Atlanta, um, Lindsay. I, I got I got put on the lens. By my homegirl KG, you know what I'm saying, mm-hmm. who works on the podcast. Again, mahogany queens around me, right? Mm. And um, just taking liking to like good quality work, yeah. good quality shit. Ain't no yeah. bullshit. Ain't no right. iron on. Like, oh yeah, you really putting your shit yeah. into this. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, nah. Anytime I got a show, I want wear. I want to rep this. I want to. It's not about being a brand ambassador for a check. It's like mm. I want this shit to go crazy. Yeah. Right. Cause why not? You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like we watch yeah. all these other brands go crazy. Yeah, yeah, we watch yeah. all this other shit go crazy. So yeah. when you see people putting the work in and doing what they need to do, it's 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 almost like you you feel inclined to want to help and be a part of their journey and their story and shit. So right. that was a very long winded answer. Oh, no. I love it. I love it. No, <laughs> speaking, of, about. speaking of the brand, shout out to, because uh, I know you be, you be uh, having on a Black Tag Apparel joint. Oh, of course. Shout out to Black day Tag one. Apparel. Yeah, that's day another day Coney one. Island day one type brand that, sure. you know, that's built from the ground up. So shout out to Black Tag Apparel too. My brother Pearl. <clears throat> True. Group project. Shout out to George. Shout out to, you know, their whole team, man. I love that. Absolutely. 
Turn my purpose into profit. I'm proud to be king. I made something out of nothing. It don't count as a thing. Like that? No, seriously though. Like making something out of nothing don't count as something. It's like it's like it's magic. I'm, but listen, no, but just think about the statement. It's something. Right. I had nothing. It's right. something. Right. Yeah. That's not a thing. It don't it's count. some. It's something. Bro, people will try to discredit or or undermine or downplay. Mm-hmm. As much as you allow them to do that shit, do you count? Right. Don't play in my face, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yo, where we from, Black? Listen, man. Where we from? What's the It don't count street? as a thing. It don't count as a what thing. We, what we've where done. Where we from? What we what we've been able to accomplish. All of us. What we've been oh, able like, to accomplish. Again, it's not about things like having a home and taking care of family, right. and having a family, and all that. Shit. Right. It's not about. But look what we've. Yo, we made something out of Listen, what they gave you. They gave me nothing. What they gave I, you? I, 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 man. That cheese was good though. I can't lie. <laughs> that cheese, <laughs> that that still fucked up for it, that cheese. It's possible. My digestive system hasn't hasn't quite recovered, yeah. pro- probably. Yeah. But that cheese used to be good. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> nah, man. They, they, they ain't give us nothing. Yeah, they gave man, us nothing. So I can't lie. You, you're right. Christ. But to to make, to make something out of that, right? It don't like, count. It don't like how does that not count? Because this is the discredit. It's like, oh well, you didn't. Uh, you know what I'm saying? I ain't see you with Dr. Dre on the private jet jumping out of the helicopter with an action. Listen, yo, dog, where you, where, where, whatever your definition of success is, that's listen. fine. Right. But yeah. we, what we not gonna do is take away. I did everything I said I Every, wanted listen, to do. Everything. I did it. This right today, today, right now, right, is all bonus. This is all we in a bonus, bro. We shooting free throws every time. We're overtime. Yo, we're, yeah, we're in a bonus. We're like two, two shots, two already. Yeah. Double the one. little closed-minded or small-minded dreams and goals that I have for myself, I mm. lap them shit. Listen. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, for when people say, oh, you didn't do it. No, I absolutely did. I did all this shit. Maybe not to the degree or the level that I thought. Right. Or in the way that I thought. Or, or may- maybe just not in front of your face. How about That's that? Because, you know, I don't really be talking too much. I don't really talk much. <laughs> what else? <laughs> <laughs> <I'm this guy. laughs> That's one of my favorite, one of my favorite stimuli jokes Yo. <laughs> to this day. What else? Man? I thought you was upstairs in my crib, like, damn, this is Yo. it. <laughs> what else? What else? Yo, nah, man. Nah, not at all, bro. <laughs> love y'all, man. I love what, what my brother's been able to build mm. and 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 generate and be a part of. And again, man, family, bro. Like the beautiful True. families doing shit with your family, your kids, mm. being in, involved in their life in different ways than my parents were involved in my life. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So that shit is really, that's the shit that really matters to me. You know what I'm saying? So gotcha. like, I love that. And yeah, like when people try to discredit or downplay or minimize my comment, I'm like, oh, it don't count as a thing? Because like, gotta, gotta, yeah. I'm really the guy. You know what I'm yeah. Like I really I, did this shit. I did it. Like, yeah. yeah, yeah. Is that where the bubble chip title comes from? Like, if you got it in the bubble, do it count as right? That I think that as as sports fans, right? I think mm. that's been a long standing conversation. Is yeah. an asterisk next to that championship? It don't count though. Just so y'all does know. it not count? It don't. Some people say it counted more because yeah. of the circumstance, right? And black for you for somebody to say it don't count, it right? Don't count. I'm talking to. My homies that play ball that either retired from not not Hooper. I'm talking about NBA, former NBA okay. players, current NBA players. We just having these conversations, and the perspective that I wasn't privy to because I'm not or have never been an NBA <laughs> basketball player yeah? no. <laughs> was that you away from all your routines. Mm-hmm. You away from I put my left sock on, I put my right sock on, I drive a certain route to the stadium, I eat a certain burger a certain way, I kiss mm. my wife on the cheek this way, I grab my son, hug him this way, and then I go to the game and I get into my shit, and I've been doing this for 10 years. Right. And now, I'm here in this isolated space mm. without any of my normality or comfortability or routine, and you know how routine and superstitious mm-hmm. athletes are. So the difficulty in having to take all of these things that you've been able to do so freely and, and, and effortlessly throughout your career and still go play at a high level. Oh, also there are no fans there. And as an athlete again, right? You're yeah. fueled by that shit. You are fueled, you're fueled by an opposing gym. You know what I'm saying? Like, well, you think Kobe went crazy to yeah, go in for no reason? That's true. So if you take, it's just a lot of shit that I didn't think about because we like, oh, these niggas ain't got to travel. It's easy. Listen, I yeah. listen. The you know tra- but the travel thing is a real thing. Like, yeah, I think it's the two sides. It's two sides. Like, right. like not having to go from 
flying from Boston to Miami or Miami. Yeah. To, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. that's a real thing. That's like, you're getting thing. to the Absolutely. finals, having to travel from, you know, New York to Denver. Like, that's a real thing. Okay. Playing in altitude, that's a real thing. That's so, I fact. get, like, there are certain home court advantages and all of that, but... Yeah. I, we getting off the subject, but yeah, no, I, I, not, we but I, I do, I do feel like, I do feel like there. I, okay, I won't say there was an advantage. I will say, at LeBron's age, it helped for sure. Not having to travel, not having to get in and out of planes, in and out of hotels, it helped. Okay. Having to wake up and just go play basketball, it helped him. That's what I'm saying. It helped it, him. That's all it, I'm saying. I'm not saying I'm, nobody else. And as us watching, and I don't know if y'all say, felt the same way, I'm old. So as I'm watching it, I think, and I still play ball, I'm like, like, I would love that. I, love that. I think it helped AD not having fans in the, in the state. It helped, yes. It helped AD for sure. It just, it's, more, it's more so perspective. Like, no matter what side of the coin you on, I think there's arguments to be made, you know, for yeah. both sides. Uh -huh. um, but again, like, for me, I made something out of nothing. It don't count as a thing. Well, right. did this bubble, like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah, for yeah. me, like, Listen. it was just a, a level right. there, right, of connectivity. And yeah, so I was I like, oh, it. that's dope. And then I just decided to name the song that because mm. I didn't have a title. And that oh, was cool. a line that, like, anytime anybody heard it, it that was the eyebrows. So, right. Oh, you know, that was yeah, the sit-up yeah, moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the, the, I think the beauty of it, though, was to compare the two, whether it's a thing or not, like what you accomplished, making something out of nothing, whether or not that's a thing and or whether or not the bubble chip actually counts. The funny thing is like both of them are just ideas of perception from whoever's sure. viewing it. Mm -hmm. sure. So whether we think it counts or not, whether they think it's a thing or not, mm -hmm. what you accomplish is real. Yeah. Like them getting that ring is real. Like it's whether y'all really like it or not, yeah. you got it. Yeah. So And people downplay it, right? Yeah, people that's downplay the other part of it. And that's the other part of it. Right. Yeah. Gotcha. So that was my, you know, yeah. that was my that was my comparison. I love where you went with this, you nice. know, real subtle. And I, the, the way you the way you rhyme, I love it because it, there's so much um, hidden jewels that you don't you don't throw out there with your cadences, mm -hmm. and people kind of have to either you get it or you don't. But it's also not so hidden that it's layered and tricky and I don't and, and confusing. So by saying keep the masses in the safe, keep these rappers in their place, keep a hitter in the field in case I need him to catch a case, mm -hmm. right? If you just listening to that, you hear masters in the safe, but you know the real listener will go deeper and be like, "Did I hear safe hit a field catch?" Uh, yeah, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying. And like you know, I'm the baseball guy, so right. I caught that like off oh, <laughs> Like, hey, what's this guy doing? <laughs> but you, you know, you blow by it, right? And I think that's the that's the beauty in in what we do and mm. what great writers right do with with their pen. But then even the keeping masters in the safe. While, whilst yeah. keeping rappers in their place, like whilst. masters kept others in place. So, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. like keeping the masters in the safe, also while keeping these rappers in their place, is kind of yeah, yeah, in your place, bitch. We got it. <laughs> yeah. Your place. Bitch. Yes, yes. So it's like it's 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 substance there. It's it's meat and potatoes there. But mm -hmm. like you said, Shy, it's not so layered that it's tricky and confusing. Mm -hmm. It's just if you take time to. Because the song is the song, and you yeah. listen to a song, it's a form of entertainment, but if you take time to pull the words mm -hmm, off mm -hmm. the page and look at what, oh shit, I didn't even realize these, it's about the words, yeah, like the, yeah. how these words connect. This is what we do. Right. This is what we do. This is what y'all know. This is what we do. The words take you to a different place, <laughs> right, 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 as, right? As writers. Um, I also intentionally kept the bubble chip a lot more simple. Mm. Um, like that second verse, most of it is very straightforward. Because, again, coming off a hiatus, long time away from the music, mm -hmm. and then the first thing you hear from me is very aggressive. When me and Marco get together, you know, that's like yeah. an alter ego. Yeah. You know gotcha. what I'm saying? Like, I get a chance to almost be in character yeah. when I do gotcha. shit with Marco, the double barrel, like, energy and what that brand mm -hmm. is. So, the next thing you hear coming off of that, I didn't want it to be too much. Gotcha. I didn't want it to be gotcha. too gotcha. heavy. I didn't want it to be too tricky. Mm -hmm. I wanted to remind you. I wanted to reintroduce or introduce myself to a certain level of people. I wanted to kind of give you a rundown of where you may have seen me at or why you haven't seen me at all. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Nice. And really, and like I said, you know, the goal was initially was to drop these records. So now in month two, I'm giving you a different perspective. In month three, I'm giving you different things sonically. In mm. month four, it's a feature. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, like, gotcha. it was really a different type of rollout. Again, life, life, and, and, and death, death. And oh, I had to deal with that shit. 
But um, yeah, you know, for me, like that shit is just fun, bro. Like, mm, yeah, I remember when I was younger, the thing that I used to concern myself with was what am I gonna rap about in five years? Mm, same. What am I gonna rap about? Yeah. Not realizing like right. <laughs> you you living. And, day day. and inspiration, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like it was constantly, even if you don't feel inspired, you live in life, you dealing yeah. with shit. You never know what left or right is going to bring a Listen. whole other example or energy, you know, experience out of you. Um, so I used to think about shit like that. Mm-hmm. And, and But then you go through life and you have so much that mm-hmm. you experience and live through and you have so much that you want to talk about and you have so many different ways of creating music and, mm. and really getting your thoughts out there and shit. So, yeah, I just yeah. wanted to keep the bubble chip as simple as mm. I know how to do, but right. still not not take any bars off, but yeah. still not shortchange the audience and people who know gotcha. what Torre does. Yeah, this last line. Um, he did that shit. <laughs> whatever, see, see, whatever, did whatever they shit. say he did, he, he did, did that, that shit. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, if I ever blow through the budget, I get it off the waist. Or Mr. Smith said he got me. Listen, he will get it out the chase. I don't even want to dig into that. Line I don't even. Balls. We're gonna leave that there. But for those that don't know who Mr. Smith is, <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. Mrs. Smith is a. It's a yeah. metaphor. <laughs> okay. It's a metaphor. You know the epilogue by James right. Todd. <laughs> I think, you know, that was just fun, right? That was just yeah. like having right. fun with the words, you know, innuendos. Um, obviously, people know there's a relationship there with, you know, what I do with Rock the Bells and shit like that. Mm. So, I mean, is it is it that? Is it Clifford Smith? You know what I mean? Is it okay. right, true. or are we coming over the ways? Is it Mr. Smith and Smith Mr. And Wesson? Wesson? You know right. what I'm saying? Like this, is this. True. yeah. Now I got like, it. Yeah, true. Whatever, man. My yeah. man, somebody hit me and was like, "Are you talking about Chase Smith from Building hey, One?" Yo, you know what I'm saying? Like it's a whole lot of shit. Chase there. Smith from Building One. It's a whole I'm lot. crying. It's a I'm, whole crying. Lot. <laughs> I'm crying. <laughs> 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 yo, I'm crying. Yo, I'm crying. Man, are you okay with us dedicating this episode to Kim? Oh man. That that would that would that would mean the world to me, bro. We would have yeah. it no other way. That would mean the world to me, man. We would have it no other way. Yeah, man. Really, really beautiful soul, man. Um, I don't even know what to say. Like, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's peace, peace be with you, brother. Um, anything we can do anytime you need to talk, not talk, you know, yeah, anything, you know, what argue, saying? vent, curse us out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so many whatever. people of it like. Yo, if you just need to pick up the phone and shout, I'm like, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> but yeah. thank you, thank you for the yeah, yeah, you know, nobody you know, knows. Just, yeah, you know, yeah, nah, people, you know, yeah. people want to let you know that they're there for you in any capacity. Yeah. It's just funny how many people are like, yo, if you just want to pick up the phone and go crazy and break some shit, just call yeah. me. <laughs> 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 I don't think that's gonna solve like, much, but yeah, you yeah, know, yeah, yeah. thanks for the option. I appreciate it though. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, man, this is um, it's a whole new world. You know Absolutely, what I'm it's a whole new world of. Absolutely. Trying to figure out the next day. And it's, 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 it's really as mm. simple as that. It's like, anytime I went through something, you know, and as you're moving, trying to move beyond it, I don't know if I ever get over it or past it, but trying to just move beyond that moment. Mm. Take day by day. I take it day by day. I take it day by day. I got to break this shit down, bro. I can't take it. The day is too long. Yeah. Hour by hour. I got to take it moment by moment, bro. That's all I got, cause I could wake up and be in a terrible state of mind and have to sit there and deal with that shit for an hour, and the next two hours I'm alright, mm-hmm. and then a song that happened, a commercial call, oh, yes. a TV show, yes. uh, anything, bro, a scent, yes. yeah, a fucking dog walk by. Yeah. It's so much shit when you spend thirty years of your life with somebody tethered Jesus. to a person. Is nothing in the world that doesn't that remind, doesn't you, of remind them. you of them. And so it's like, am I gonna react? How am I gonna react to to the to the reminder? You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Is it gonna be a pleasant memory? Is it gonna put a smile mm-hmm. on my face? Is it gonna be a pleasant memory that make me sad? Cause right. we don't get those anymore. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So like, you know, dealing with dealing with death and grieving is is something that we all gotta deal with. Yeah. So um, this is the most difficult experience that I've ever had to live through. Mm-hmm. Um, again, because 
like you were saying earlier, like shit happens around you. Like I've been affected by seeing my classmates. So my little cousin, my little cousin passed from cancer a couple years ago. Hmm. Since she was born, you know what I'm saying. I've been around. She's my younger cousin, so I really knew her her whole life. To see her mm. go through it, I was like, that fucked with me. Right. It wasn't in my house. house. Though. You know what I'm saying? Damn. Like living yeah. through that shit in your house, it don't. It hit different when it's at home, bro. Mm-hmm. It hit different when it's yeah. at home when it's <clears throat> when it's your spouse, the person that you've been with <sighs> your whole life through all the ups and downs and all, all the, the breakups break. and all the back togethers and That's all of everything because none of this shit is perfect and none of this shit is without having its own set of everything that comes along with mm-hmm. being human. Right. But man, like you're talking about my best friend. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, yeah. You gotta grow to that shit. My girl, I didn't have Listen. any aspirations of my girl being my best, Your best friend. friend. Right. Yeah. Now, right, right, we right. had to grow through that shit. We moved in together twenty four years ago, married fifteen years, knew each other since before to, mm-hmm. Dewey. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. Went to Dewey together. All of the shit that comes along with it, man. So it's like really just relearning. Yeah. Relearning my everyday. Yes. Mm-hmm. My everyday is different. Yeah. Yeah, I had um, I just was on vacation with the fam, um, and I was I was texting you briefly, and, f- and I, don't, I don't remember what it was. It was maybe ordering dinner or something like that. My my, my wife my wife got upset with me because <laughs> I didn't do the right thing, and I just I was texting you. And now leave me out of that shit. No no no. <laughs> 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 I ain't I gonna do it. Do it that. Right. I didn't even know. <laughs> but in the, in the moment. <laughs> The like whatever I felt, whether it was anger, whether it was whatever, just the con- just the fact that you were on the other end of the of the of the phone, something mm-hmm. resonated with me, mm-hmm. and I thought to myself, "What would Tor give for this moment?" I want them right. all back, bro. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I want them all back. Yeah. Like literally, I'm looking at your name, and that shit like, like spoke to me. Mm-hmm. I just sat there. I was like, yeah. "Oh shit, yeah. there's nothing. Listen, nothing important. And, <laughs> this and, shit is super fragile. People say it's short, and you know, maybe some people will agree with that. Mm-hmm. It's just fragile. That's you know what, what I'm saying? Is. Like, yeah. very, for very. as tough as we all are, and as resilient as we are, this shit is fragile. Like anything at any moment could change. Mm-hmm. You know, um, my wife dealing with her illness for the time. You know, it was it was definitely something that we had more." opportunity to discuss mm. and live through you know 20 months she was sick 20 months is not a long time less than mm-hmm. two years from the time we found out to the time yeah wow. we was in the church is 20 months is crazy yeah, but crazy. I, I do i am thankful that we got a chance to talk through so much you know what i'm saying like mm-hmm. have those moments have those times and yeah, I would fucking give any. I would give anything for her to be pissed off at me right now. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's what I thought about that. Like, yo, yeah, yeah be mad at me. You know what right. I'm saying? Like, <laughs> yeah. that's cool. I'll take that right take now. It. Take right. it. Um, I, another thing I think about is just like, and and this shit happens in stages, and so you just gotta like deal with the shit. But I'm just like, fuck. I wish. When I was in the living room watching the Knicks and she was upstairs watching nine mm-hmm. one one, yeah, I just would have. Mm-hmm. They was gonna win the game anyway. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like yeah. just, and so I say all that to say again, our our experiences is lessons for everybody else. Yeah, true. Is to cherish the time. Yeah, it's not yeah. gonna be a Disney fairy tale. It's not always gonna be mm-hmm. hunky dory. But cherish the time. Try to minimize those moments of you know trepidation and just realize like what's important is being near being together in those mm-hmm. times in those moments because you just never know when it's not gonna be that yeah. anymore yeah super true yeah nah you listen you guys listen. have gone through a lot in the past few months um man coney island made y'all resilient <sighs> this is true you know what i'm saying this is very true very true. You know, you know, y'all, y'all have inspired me. You know, what I'm saying I was reaching out to this guy every day. Like I didn't even know what to say. I was right. like, "Yo, it's good. I'm here." Like you know, what I'm and saying the, the wild part is, while I'm at the hospital dealing with my situation, 
he calls me and tell me about yours. I completely forgot about what I had going on because I'm like, wait, what? Like it almost, I don't want to say minimize my situation, but I couldn't fathom. Mm-hmm. Even though like it's, loss is loss. Yeah, yeah, it's, like, it's, you know what I mean? Loss is loss, right. but yeah, it's all different. Yeah, that, yeah. So just saying that to say, I didn't even, like I said, I hit you just on some, you know, making sure you're good, send my condolences or whatever. But yeah, I, I can't imagine the strength that you, like the strength that you have to carry every day to, and like when you talk about a moment by moment, hour by hour basis, like I have times where I can be reading something and that shit means nothing because I can't even focus. Like mm. I'm just completely out of the space at that moment. But you have those and you know, you push through them and you know what I mean? You you circle you circle yourself with good people that, that mean you well and always, you know, pour positive energy into you. And yeah. That's 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 what helps you get get through it. Yeah. This is this is like, you know, for me I was like and we have been talking about this for a long time and you mm-hmm. know, I'm a I'm a, I'm a, I don't put out no fucking record, so <laughs> 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 what are we talking about really? But you know, it's like, nah, I don't wanna pick up the phone and shout, but I do wanna sit here and have a conversation with y'all. Mm-hmm. And if we get into this shit, and honestly, it's the first time, I mean, I'm Terry, but this is the first time I've really talked through it without, mm-hmm. like, having to stop. Yeah. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Like, I'm talking about, bro, like, yesterday I was I was moderating a podcast, and then, um, you know, I saw somebody that knew me personally and was like, yo, I had no idea how you doing. And I was just like, yo, bro, I can't even do that shit right now. Mm-hmm. Can't. So, um, yeah. Yeah, man, I just wanted to, you know, come here with y'all and, and talk some shit and have some fun. And, you know, when you ask, like, can we talk about it? I'm like, yeah, you know, we could. Because, again, man, my, this shit is a lesson for somebody. If somebody, did, if somebody is mad at their girl right now, mad at their Absolutely. man right now, or Absolutely. on the verge of break. Or maybe it's just, yo, bro, one thing about Kimberly and I is, like, through all of the hurdles, we always found our way back to each other. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Through all my list of I would never deal with no... Mm-hmm. Dealt with it all, you know right. what I'm saying? And like, and I'm right. sure she had a list twice as big. Absolutely, that was my person. Yeah, you didn't realize that shit. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, didn't realize we grew to be best friends to really have open conversation and be candid because we didn't start out as friends, right? Um, it's, we started out attracted to each other and we dated mm-hmm. and it made sense and and we started to build the family. But we was kids, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, we was we were kids and. We raised each other. You know mm. what I'm saying? I wouldn't I'm not the man that I am without Kimberly without being there. You know what yeah. I'm saying? She's yeah. not that she's not that woman. She's not that wife. She's not that mother. Without all the shit that we did and mm. everything that we had to learn from each other. And when I got married young, um, I did understand like years, we, we would laugh about it. Yo, we got married so young, we didn't know what we was doing. We went back to the projects. Like, oh. we, you know what I'm saying? Like, we didn't have shit, but we 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 had love. Right. And right. and and I put in the air quotes because that level of our love at that point was the tip of the iceberg. Yeah. You know what I'm right. saying? Right. We was in love to. with each other. <laughs> yeah. We were love me. Air Max 95. Love. We yeah, both yeah, had yeah. the lot. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, we was in... That was durag love. Yeah, right. like, <laughs> when you go through the shit... Right. And yeah. you want to fucking choke each other, yeah. and y'all yeah. fucking embrace and hug instead. You know what I'm saying? Like, so we went through so much shit, um, but we would laugh about just... How fucked up we was when yeah. we was yeah. younger and, and and a lot less well off, but we got married. We still did it, and I, I'm just saying I'm kind of rambling. But married 15 years, it be it would be 16 in August. Married 15 years. That's why we got married so young, because mm. I was gonna lose half 45s. Mm. Wow, you know wow. What I'm saying? So that's why. Wow. <clears throat> our decade and a half had to happen then because yeah. I wasn't yeah. gonna have her into my older years. Older years. Yeah. So I had to get had to get all that you know what I'm saying? I had to get yeah, all that, had to get that life together. That, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Squeeze squeeze the orange out the juice. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean squeeze the squeeze the juice out the orange. That was right. that squeeze the orange out the juice, juice out the orange. That shit. was that was better, actually. <laughs> um, Man. Yeah. yeah. I'm um 
yeah, we gonna wrap this up, man, on some just Yeah. Just I remember being young and, and having my parents and my family and my everyone that was related to me by blood be my everything. Mm. You know, and that was you know, I lost my pops in in oh oh three, oh four, couldn't, you know, mm. your your bloodline, right? That's your thing. Mm. I couldn't imagine being a grown individual and having people that weren't related to me be closer than my family, you know? Mm. And that's that's one of those things that w- what he's talking about, if you out there and you beefing with the person that you with or y'all not speaking or whatever it is, like that shit is minimal. It's minimal. Yeah. Like we choose our family. These, these, are, <laughs> these are my brothers, like, <laughs> like closer than my own brother. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, don't, I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah, take, me out, take me out the camera. Yeah, I'm yeah, sorry. I'm take sorry. me out the clip. Still got one brother left, man. Still got one brother left, though. <laughs> take me out but, the clip. Nah, but you know, we, we choose our, our nah, spouses sure. and our people, man. Right. And, and now that's that's fam. Yeah. Forever. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And that's that's a blessing. Listen. It's a true blessing. No doubt. Yeah, the, the trivial shit, the minimal shit is just. Is is you know it's nothing. It's really nothing. It's really you think nothing. about the grand scheme of it. You mm-hmm. know, I had a, a couple of my brothers reach out to me on some like, damn, bro, this shit helped me. You know what I mean? Like, go talk to wifey and da 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 da. We was be, you know, I was on some bullshit. I was fucking with that. Whatever the case may be, it's yeah. like, it's a fucking tragedy for me. But right, it's also a lesson to everybody around me. So, right. this pain and hurt that I'm dealing with every second of every day, like. Yo, I'm never, I'm never ever gonna be the same. I'm never, never gonna be good. Never, never. There's never. never gonna be a time where it doesn't affect me. It doesn't hit me. But if you can take from all the shit that I'm gonna have to deal with and and progress from it, then that's part of the reason I have to go through it. Because I'm sitting here, quite why, why, why? And it's like, because mm-hmm. you gotta continue to educate. You gotta continue yeah. to teach people. You gotta continue to be an example. You know what I'm saying? And so I want everybody, because this shit hurt, so please, if you can learn from it, learn from it. Yeah. Listen, and you, you both will heal. You'll never be the same. Never be the same. But, but you, man, you will. What I was told is life grows around you. Like, you won't completely heal, but, I mean, I kind of went through the same thing after losing my pops in 2018, and I felt like, I almost felt guilty about moving on, like, but you got to get back to life. And what yeah. I found out is you're not the same, but life continues to grow around you. And I'm one of those people that's, <clears throat> I like to believe that energies don't die, they transfer. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. I s- try to see people that I've lost in other things, whether mm-hmm. it's kids, whether it's something random. And I'm going to end on this note, really random, crazy thing. Since I've been home, since me and my wife got home from the hospital after losing the baby, there's been a butterfly that comes, flies by my back deck every time I'm out there. I swear to God, he just flies by. At, like they circle, it, this one same butterfly, and I realize it's the same butterfly because it's not the normal color. It's like black, but it's like a light yellow. It's not an orange. Circles around. I was out there one day. And it literally like kind of like hovered around my face. I almost I flipped out, but yeah. So like I'm yeah, yeah. I'm one of those people like I, I see I like to see. Nah, I you look, pay yeah. attention to the universe. It speaks yeah. to you. That's like another thing, and I want to like drag this on forever. But that was another when I look at when I try to pull the positives out of mm-hmm. the situation is that Kimberly and I had extensive talks about. You know, she lost both of her parents, so she was excited about that in that regard of mm-hmm. the possibility of how she's going to reunite with her parents, whatever you believe, how you believe it happens. Mm-hmm. Her belief was that she was going to be reunited with her parents. Okay. Wow. Another thing, I was like, yo, send me signs. Send me signs. Talk to me, talk to me, talk to me. And she was like, absolutely. She's like, just pay attention. I'm going to be sending you signs. So when I'm moving throughout my day, mm-hmm. And You'll Kimberly sends something. You'll see him. I see it. I talk. I speak to her. Ver- like so, when y'all see me out there talking to myself, I'm crazy. <laughs> That's cool. I can fight. Don't play yourself. But look, <laughs> yeah, like I'm. I'm definitely the guy. 
like I'm walking and something comes from Kimberly. I'm, yo, yeah. you crazy. Yeah. I saw that. Da, 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 that's how yeah. you feel. I'm going to hold a conversation, Absolutely. a verbal conversation with her out loud. <laughs> Absolutely. And you know what I'm saying? If they want to rubber room me, so be it. <laughs> <laughs> nah, man. We'll, that's, take it. we'll come visit. Yeah. <laughs> He's talking about taking We'll come visit. Yo. <laughs> man, thank you so much for talking to us, for opening up, for being who you are. Um, yeah, man. Embracing your authenticity and just, you know, being a Torre, man, yeah. always. And letting people know who don't know that if you don't know, now you know. <laughs> <laughs> some people know. Yeah, some yeah. people Every know. Every once in a while, I got to talk my shit. Thank y'all. Thank y'all for having me. And, um, you know, this is the first the love seat, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, uh, I got to I, I gotta go sit on somebody's couch. But, you know what I'm saying? I started in the solo joint. Right. Yeah, 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 make yeah, my yeah. way to the bigger make couch. Make your way to the yeah. bigger couch. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. We, we got another show on the way, too. Okay. Yeah, yeah we working that, on that, too. Gotcha. That embraces um, exactly what we talked about today, actually. Word. Yeah. Yeah, right, so. Coming back, man. Yeah, yeah man. Yeah. Love to have you back, man. Oh, yeah. You know, you, door wide open. Yeah, stop stealing. Take no more. We gonna off. leave the door. <laughs> oh. Yeah, stop stealing, man. Please. I'm done. I love you better. <laughs> no, no, keep it. Keep this shit rolling. <laughs> hey yo, all y'all motherfuckers. Hey yo, we see you. You know say <laughs> Apple Music. We see what you doing. We oh, see you. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. Real spitters take no bars off. Huh. Yeah. MCs take no bars off. <laughs>